Ice on my wrist, looking kinda cool Bad bitch with me, she ain't tryna move Niggas staring at me, what you tryna do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do what is up everybody so today's video as you guys can see right here we're gonna be doing tech cars for february 2018 i know february is almost over i guess i should have did this february march 2018 but these are some solid tech cars i think it's gonna be good for today's meta um some cars are unique some cars um are cars that i didn't even think about shout out to you guys in my community tab for recommending a lot of these cars so yeah man let's get into these cars talk about them and what they can do in today's meta but before we get to the actual video itself smash that like button let's get this video up to 100 likes if we can that'll be great also if you're new here subscribe for more i'm trying to get my channel up to 15k subs by the end of this month we're almost there so if we can get to 15k subs that's great i did tell you guys i'll make a new mass hero deck profile if we can get to 15k subs by the end of the month so let's do it let's see if we can make it but if not oh well i'm still happy for everybody who subscribed to my channel who support the channel so let's get straight into the video with the first tech card for the um channel and that's going to be contact c now this is a car a lot of you guys recommended in my community tab very solid car with a simple effect when your opponent normal spends as a monster you pretty much give him contact c now what this makes the opponent do they have to either fusion synchro xyz or link summon using this card they control as material now against decks like Solomon grace it don't necessarily beat them out of, off back because a lot of Solomon great players are are using more than Solomon great link monsters to make their plays but it can't slow them down if they're trying to go for a big push and this is also good against things like synchro decks xyz decks etc overall all this card really needed to say was stop pendulum summoning and i would have been all for it good card simple effect i think it really hurts um synchro and fusion decks the most so for example um thunder dragons this pretty much craps on them you give a thunder dragon players that they're gonna cry either that or they're gonna tribute someone over it i mean overall not the best of a card but it's pretty tacky and i'm pretty sure you could put it in work comments comment in the comment section down below um telling me more decks this car can hurt because this deck the car has a lot of potential on what it can do there can only be one so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about this card and this card single-handedly craps on Solomon Grace. each player can only control one monster of each type if a player controls two or more monsters of the same type they must send some to the graveyard so they control no more than one monster of that type so essentially if for decks that only play one type like heroes Solomon Grace, um thunder dragons i think everything in there it completely craps on those decks it punishes decks for being consistent which i don't think in my opinion promotes healthy Yu-Gi-Oh. but on the flip side for people who like to play decks that are not consistent for example pendulum decks um alter guys because alter guys are in this card this card is really solid like i said it's not the most techiest card in the world a lot of people recommended it to me which is why i got it on in the list on this video but it's a really solid card for what it does it does definitely put in work and it can definitely be used in a multitude of decks that a lot of people aren't thinking about like i said like pendulum decks and etc so yeah man try out there can be only be one in your deck um it might can just um do something for you i mean the fact that it completely locks out the opponent is insane man i hate this card so much yeah so yeah try it out check it out artifact sanctum combo now this has been tearing up the meta scene in the in the Solomon Great deck recently. And personally, I don't care for it that much. Like, I really don't. Like, I get the concept behind it where you activate the Sanctum, shut off the Extract with the Scythe, and you're, you OTK them on the following turn. That's good. Now, don't get me wrong, that's good. But in my opinion, while this is a good teching engine, it's only good going first, in my opinion. If you're going second, you side this crap out. Reason being because unless you open it going first is so bad because i can just imagine people just drawing into this mid to late game because most people are running three sanctums and one scythe so what they try to do is hope they open up the sanctum going first scythe the opponent and then OTK them on the following turn but if you don't open up your sanctum in a 10 round event like a um regionals or a ycs eventually you're gonna break the sanctums and then after you use the scythe and let's say, let's say for example you're playing with that one goofy kid using um threatening roar or whatever and then you, you don't otk them and then you get beat because you have two deck two more dead cards in your deck and now you're just sitting there with a stank look in your face like wow i'm about to get my crap pushed in because i played three sanctums on one side but also real stuff though um this is solid i know i'm ragging on people who like to use the artifact sanctum side combo 
me personally, if I was to run it, I'd probably run one scythe and um, one of the moral tech just to pop out monsters and have more range. I'm not a fan of running three things on one side personally, but I get why people run it. Hey, hey, if it works, it works. Don't let me tell you guys how to run it. But the artifact engine in general is really techy, really popular in this meta. Try it out, see if it works for you. Next tech card I'm gonna talk about. Waking the Dragon. This card, oh my God, boys. This card, I can tell you. If you're paying it to your opponent and you know they're gonna side deck, um, Twin Twisters against you and you're going first, side deck this card, bro. I think every trap heavy deck should be side decking this because it's so good. Like, not granted, it can be sacky, but when it resolves, getting any monster from your extra deck is insane. I mean, a Tour Extra Now, granted, I feel like what would have broke this card if it said ignore the summoning conditions, allowing you every extra deck available. But for the most part, I think it's a good solid tech card. You know, trap heavy decks, ultra guys, um, you name it, you can run it. Like I, I got caught off guard with this card plenty of times, and it completely wrecked me because my opponent bring out some goofy fusion monster with 4,500 attack, and I was just there like, yeah, chuckles, I'm in danger. So yeah, man, it's a solid card. Check it out if you guys want something to troll the opponent and piss them off. It's a really great card. Waking the Dragon Man, check it out. Next up, debunk. Now, this is one of innovation spices. Reason why this card is spicy is because it's so super simple. When a monster effect is activated in hand or a graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, banish it. What decks all use monster effects in the hand and graveyard? Almost every deck in the meta right now. Going first, sighting in three of these can be huge against decks like Sky Strikers, Solomon Greats, Thunder Dragons, the list can go on. Reason being, all the Thunder Dragons activate in hand. You can negate their activation and then banish them. Now, do they get their banish effects? I don't know. Comment in the comment section down below. Can they, can they get it because this is a counter trap and they can't change to a counter trap, so I don't know how that'll work. But against Solomon Greats, you can negate and banish the Spinning in Graveyard. A lot of players are main decking the Thanos Dragon, which has like a draw effect and a negate effect. As soon as they activate Thanos Dragon in hand, negate with debunk. Then that's like, that's not to mention also the hand traps like Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogres, Effect Veiler. I think it's just a solid overall card. A lot of decks, you know, um, even the Dangerous, it stops the Dangerous, bro. Um, just going first because if you open this up, set it, Danger Monster use their effect, negate and banish. Then they, they're just going to be sitting there like, well, I guess I don't have an out, and I guess I lose. So, now, is it the best card? No. Of course, we have things like Solemn Strike, Solemn Warning, which is overall a little bit better because it's more flexible than against decks like Pendulums. You definitely don't want to be having debunking against those other decks. But at the same time, guys, I think this is a solid card. Um, it's really good, really techy. A lot of people aren't thinking about it, so I think just for the fact, for the fact it can catch people off guard is huge. It was ran back in the day. I think it was the, um, what format was that? It was the, oh, I can't think, I think it was ran in 2014 era. It kind of died off and came back when Burning Abyss, Burning Abyss got popular. Then died again, man. So, yeah, so if you guys want something techy, try out Dean Bunk because it may just be a card for you. Next up, Threatening Roar. Now, I know I mentioned this earlier in the video. When I was re referencing it to that other card that I was talking about. But Threatening Roar is a really great card for this meta. It could be really spicy, really techy. Reason being, it completely shuts off the battle phase. Now, on face value, that might not seem like a lot. But with decks like Solomon Grace, decks like um, Thunder Dragons, decks like every deck in the meta aiming for the OTK, and they're setting up their entire field for one big push getting rid of back row just imagine everyone's trying to call your bluff everyone's trying to call your bluff and they go pop your back row during their roar they're gonna sit there like okay i just wasted all my resources making a big board a lot of decks aren't locking out boards nowadays it's not like they're making um not like they're making um negate monster negate monster set negate trap pass now granted settlement grace could set the negate trap but they don't have the negate monsters to back it up like 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 let's say for like a pendulum deck would they can make the um that over dragon that can negate stuff. So I think honestly Threatening Roar has a lot of potential. I was actually considering it running it in my time thief deck because I can literally see myself just letting my opponent waste their resources on trying to OTK me. 
threatening roar them on my, on my turn, just completely wipe their board and OTK them. Same concept as the artifact engine. The only difference is I'm letting my opponent spam the board and I'm just gonna break their board in my following turn and OTK them. And it's more consistent in a 10 round event because I don't have to worry about if I um, dead draw the rest of it in my um, the rest of the game. So I like it. I'm considering main decking it myself. Really good card. Check out Threatening Roar. And I believe the last card on this list was Diddy Crow. Now Diddy Crow, a lot of you guys recommended I should have on this. Um, well, you guys, I, you guys didn't know I was making a video, but a lot of you guys recommended that Diddy Crow is a good tech card for the meta. Um, it's super simple. You know, target seven the graveyard, banish it. It hits the Sky Striker Ray. It hits the um, Spinny for seven grades. Don't cite it for um, obviously Thunder Dragons, but you also could main deck this card too because I also target things like all three guys with their monsters in the great range, etc. But overall, man, Diddy Crow is a solid card. It goes fluctuates in and out of the format. But for the most part, what key cards I'm going to take away from this video is definitely Threatening Roar and Debunk. These are two cards I've been really considering for the meta because of how unique they are. And the fact they can completely catch the opponent off guard and blow them out. Especially Threatening Roar because, man. I'm just visualizing someone spamming the board. Yeah, I'm finna win. I'm finna win. Threatening roar. Ah, oh, crap. My turn. Draw. I'm playing Settlement Grace. Spam, spam, spam. Eat your back row. Get rid of your monster. Game. So, with all that being said, man, post your thoughts about this um, tech car video in the comments section down below. If you guys want me to do more tech car videos, let me know. I'll do this video once a month. Keep you guys updated and posting on things. I think my. Um, teching and you know getting ideas from you guys to help um everyone else out in the community with um more tech cards to try out so yeah man like i said if you're new here hit the subscribe button for more i'm extremely exhausted so if i'm slurring over my words i do apologize you know when you work all day come home filming youtube videos things get exhausting so no excuse things will get better with time so with that being said once again it's innovation YGL bringing you guys a tech card video for february 2018 i'm signing out peace